toes. Yeah. Yeah. Episode 16, baby. We're getting up there, ain't we? We're up to driving age now, baby. Yeah. Yeah. So, next Jack. It is a show. Number 16. What are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. You like a story, boys and girls? I'll tell you one. It's about a little show called Rupert Bear. And uh, we were going to speak about another little show called uh, Sinbad Jr. and his magic belt. But you know what the story there is? Uh, some guy builds a robot, and Sinbad Jr. punches it. He said, oh, no, I'm just a boy. And then he tightens his magic belt, tightens it up, and then he punches the thing again, and he said, I did it. And that's the entire episode. It's like five minutes long, and they made like 84 episodes of it, and all it is is some guy, there's a thing, or dudes or somebody that has to be punched and Sinbad Jr. tries to punch him. He goes, hey, my boy. And then he... That's... Hey, da, that's the entire... That's the entirety of fucking entertainment back then. It's a black and white. Shit. We didn't have colors back then. We didn't have joy or laughter or fun. We had lead in the air. They would pour gasoline onto children's cereal that was made out of crunched up bits of cardboard. Yeah, anyway. Back to what I was talking about, which was um, Rupert Bear. Yeah, we were talking about that, not olden times. We're gonna see the Trooper's wild scooter ride. He's gonna take a fucking wild scooter ride into the fucking who knows where. And it's gonna be fucking great. It's gonna be the most awesomest goddamn thing in the world. And if you don't think so, then you fucking suck as a person. So, um, yeah, anyway, our, our story begins. Rupert comes out of the house and starts talking to himself. He's waving, and there's nobody there. He's just yapping on to nobody in particular, and that's a sign of a psychopath there, Rupert. Are you a psychopath, Rupert? <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's to be seen. You never know until it's too late. <laughs> so, Rupert, he gets on his little scooter. He's fucking hot dog in it, showing off to all his friends. Just being fucking negligent. He nearly kills his little dragon friend. He nearly fucking runs him right over, squishes him like a panic. He doesn't fucking care. He's a psychopath, remember? Then he, he just dogging and fucking saying, hey, like any true good psychopath, he's the alpha wolf dog of the group. And he says, hey, you fuckers, fucking build me a fucking rap. I'm gonna fucking jump this bitch. And you know what? He does. He jumps the bitch. Nice going. But it's not enough. It's never enough. A psychopath is never satisfied. And he needs more speed. He's gotta go fast. Gotta fucking go fast. I need to go faster. Yeah, like that. Just gotta fucking go fast. So, he's like, well, he turns his little girlfriend, Bing Bong, Whatever fuck her name is, I don't care. Listen to the story, it's not important. So, he goes to Bing Bong and said, I need you to conjure up your fucking dark magical powers and fucking take out this fucking, give my scooter the power to go fucking fast. Conjure up the demons, bring them in. Just bring them in. You just get jump to jump straight to demons, don't you, Rupert? You fucking crazy asshole. There's so many more options. Than, no. Some of the dark ones. It's all that's on your mind. 
You one-track fucking mind. Some of the dark ones. Oh, the toast is cold. Some of the dark ones. Fucking asshole. The dark ones have better things to do than... You fucking... Oh, whatever. Jack, why are you advocating for the dark ones? Well, I am an honorary member of the really rotten team of the Laugh Olympics. Thanks to my brilliant lawyering skills and illegitimate marriage to Daisy Mayhem. So, I cheat to win. And I will destroy all in my path, including Rupert Bear. Fucking Rupert Bear. What was he doing? He's conjuring the Dark Ones. The magic up his fucking scooter or whatever. Let's see how fucking that shit went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cool. So, Rupert gets on his little scooter now, is blessed by dark magic, and all you know, a fucking thing starts going crazy. Well, what do you expect, Rupert? He just stuck some tormented souls into an inanimate object. It does not have nerve endings. It cannot feel. It is confused and angry and violent. And you're just up here, oh, I want to go fast. I'm just going to push some tormented souls. And this is what happens, Rupert. The tormented souls are going to go crazy because they don't know how to operate a mechanical transportation device as their body. It's It takes some getting used to, okay, Rupert? Why don't you just sell the fuck down and let have some me time to get used to the fucking existence you've just thrust itself into. No, it's all about you, Rupert. It's all about you. Going fast. You gotta get fast. Do all that fucking shit. Fuck you, Rupert. And so, Rupert falls off his little flying scooter thing and and, 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 and fucking smashes down onto the base of his tailbone and his spinal cord. Fucking spinal fracture. You know the pain of a spinal fracture? Do you? It's fucking... Horrible. It's nerve endings just shoot... The nerve pain from a tiny spine injury just shoots down your entire leg and your torso and you can't fucking move. And 20 years down the line, it's gonna catch up to old Rupert and his body's just gonna give up the fight. He can't even fucking roll out of bed. He's just gonna start down in pills. Pills and pills and pills. More and more pills. And it takes more and more. Because the pain just keeps... Pin back in. So he keeps in and he's fucking going crazy. So he tries to do the right thing. He goes to rehab. He gets off it. He gets off all them pain pills. But you know what? That pain just still right there. He should... Fucking laying there, awake at night, no one fucking answer his calls. He's just like, fuck it, I need something. So he gets those pills again, and he takes as many as he used to, and that's just fucking too many for a normal person that has uh, weaned off that shit. So he fucking eyes pop out his head, and he drops fucking dead. Fucking A. And that's the end of Rupert Bear. The end. What we learned today. Okay. You want to learn more of the story? Okay, that that wasn't that, that was that was just yeah. Okay, fine. What happened to Rupert Bear after that? Besides his horrific descent into opiate addiction. Well, let's see. Fucking, they go off to find the fucking scooter. Cause they unleashed the beast of untold whatever. Untold potentials of whatever. I, he's capable of anything. Why I'm fucking trying to get out of my fucking stupid head. So he's, they're going off to find the fucking scooter out in the field. And bitch, start doing fucking more magic. More magic done fucking hell, bitch. You're fucking running things. Fucking go crazy. We don't need no more magic. <laughs> Yeah, 
So she zaps herself up in the fucking tree. And then she goes, she sees the thing and she goes, there's a scooter over there. And then she falls out the fucking tree. You know what happens? Another fucking spider fracture. Not the bing bong different. She doesn't get addicted. She deals with the pain in her own way. But it's not enough. Doesn't last. One day, she just keeps getting bitter. Bitter, more bitter. Her face scrunches up into a little bitter raisin fucking thing. She just gets more pissed off. Older. More in pain. I smiled through it one day. Grandkid pisses her off. She puts her fucking face through a wall. Oh, Grandma. She's so sad, horrified what she done. She grabs three full bottles of vodka and downs them all within an hour. Goes to sleep. Drowns in her own vomit. And that's the end of Bing Bong. I'm making really depressing fucking tales out of Rupert Bear. Don't you think? Huh? I'm sorry. What else am I gonna do? Look at girls. I've done that for so long. They, I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of looking at girls and boys and mannequins and human shaped animals. I want to see colors and sights and Magnificent cities and skyscrapers and lights and fireworks and I want to live. But uh, for now, let's talk more about motherfucking Rupert Bear. How about? That sounds fun. Sounds like something to do till we die. Alone. Pain. Shitting ourselves. Off to the trash heap. <laughs> anyway, so Rupert and his friends all corner the fucking little scooter boy beast. They fucking corner it. They all surround it. And he gives up. He knows he's defeated. He gives up. The scooters subsides to its fate. And they all stand around in a circle. They're all fucking... Right in front of him, just discussing how are we gonna kill this thing? How do we kill a demon possessed scooter? He's just listening to this, like, fuck me. I mean, I've been there, man. I fucking had to listen to people discuss my fate like I don't even fucking exist. Like I'm some sort of fucking. Contagious deviant uh, spreading my disease bluge like a plague. <sighs> it was just a boy. You shouldn't subject a boy to that kind of talk. Like he doesn't matter. I matter. You matter. We all matter. But fuck these people I want to diminish our mattering. Because fuck it. Fucking twisting our words and phases and bullshit and... Rupert Bear! <laughs> yeah. Ah. Of course black lives matter. Don't be stupid. Jack, no one cares about your politics that you don't even fucking understand yourself. Why don't you get back to talking about the fucking cartoon? All right, fine. Fine. Back to fucking Rupert Bear. So they're talking about killing this fucking scooter thing. And he's just like fucking so depressed. He just dies out of pure loneliness. Which is the thing. People can fucking feel so lonely they just die. It happens. It almost happened to me. I should know. My fucking body just shut down. No, like, I could stop breathing here for, like, a while, and then nature would take over. But I got better, and here I am!
Rupert Bear, because I'm awesome like that, I guess. So, Scooter's dead. Day saved. Demons are gone. Yay. What What did uh, Rupert learn? What did he learn? Well, nothing. Nothing at all. You know why? Because he's a fucking psychopath. He, he's a fucking psychopath. And he learned nothing. Because psychopaths don't have remorse. They don't reflect on their actions. <laughs> Rupert's a fucking lunatic that doesn't give a fuck about the lives or well-being of any other person on the planet. And uh, that's why he's an asshole. Because I think even if you feel that everyone on the planet is a piece of shit that you should stomp on at any given opportunity, you still have the chance to make a choice to not do that. Be nice anyway, just cuz. Right? So, Ripper didn't learn a fucking thing. But what did we learn today? Well, spinal fractures ain't no joke. Nerve pain is fucking brutal. But if you're going to summon the dark ones to come help you with your pain, how the fuck you not do it? You got to fucking do it yourself. You know what's going to happen? You're going to have orange diarrhea and herpes. Taint herpes. Yeah. Just not quite on, on your junk. Not on your battle. What kind of train? Just, just, just tipping it with their tongue. And they think, hey, that's the herpes you'll have with your stupid amateurish wicker bullshit. Wicca is a fake fucking witchcraft pyramid scheme designed to sell essential oils because motherfuckers couldn't sell it to normal people. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not. I'm fucking speaking the truth. Trying to save you from wasting your money on casting spells. With a three dollar bottle of lavender you paid seventy bucks for. Fuck you. Anyway. Also we learned. Don't try to please psychopaths. They are never satisfied. Just cut them out. Just, just cut them out of your lives. Ignore their existence. They thrive on attention. So ignore them and soon they'll just start eating away at themselves. And becoming a former shell of. A shell of their former, yeah, yeah. They come decrepit and weird, and so they stop eating and they stare at you through their blinds. And they drill a hole in through the skull to let the demons out, and that just lets the spiders in. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, that was uh, Rupert, Rupert the Bear. D -d -d I think Rupert was like a fucking 2D bear. This was different. There was a different... It was like the same, but different. Yeah, he had those pants. Those fucking checker pants. Yeah, this is a reboot. This is a fucking reboot. Oh, fucking... Well... Well, yeah. What are you gonna do? Nothing. People just wanna do what they know over and over again and that's called autism no it's not that's unfair there are different kinds of autism now when i grew up there was one kind of autism and that was when your face was half melting off now it's like a litany but yeah so embrace and learn embrace learning of new things that you don't understand. Mental health is a fascinating field. Infested by idiots that do idiot things and make idiot ideas. So don't listen to somebody just because they are a therapist. They have to be a good therapist. Otherwise they're just some fucker rambling on. 
making like me <laughs> yeah so anyway that was episode 16 uh I'm kind of rambling on in this episode. Kind of shitty. I'm kind of tired. Kind of took all day making these stupid GIFs. Do you like the GIFs better than the still images I was doing? It takes like a fucking hell, hell of a lot of time to export them. But I like them. They're pretty. Um, yeah, so Thursday, we're going to do a big live, live show. Live, our big live stream Thursday show. Let's take a look at some 80s and 90s commercials. Have some fun. Back here. I don't know. Yeah. I figured out how to make this better, and we're gonna do it better next time, because I'm gonna do the gifts the day before, so I'm not so fucking tired by the time it comes to film this shit. And then we'll do better. Alright, so, yeah, thanks for coming. And, uh, yeah, I love you all a lot. Like, an absurdly abs inappropriate amount, I'd say. But, uh, yeah, deal with it. I'll see you. Bye. Wow. Wow.